Pulse Ice Man here. Number 388, trying to get the mic on the right side. <laughs> I guess it is on the right side. It's just weird because the one labeled right is on my left here, so I'm a little confused. Yeah, it's a little weird. All right. All right, so right away we have Blind Bandit versus The Flash. Yep. And Blind Bandit, I've seen him around. I've never seen him play. I know he's a NES player. Um, the Flash, I am unaware of. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of new people here today with 89 entrance. And the TOs, were, even themselves, were saying, there's going to be a whole slew of new people, and they're going to try and get as many of them on stream so we can get a lot of new people, new faces. Yeah, and what's really scary about that is there's a lot of potential hidden bosses. A lot of unknowns, yeah, because a few weeks ago I went up against e Serpent, and I at the time didn't know about him, and he made me know about him after that. Yeah, a lot of players show up at their first or second tourney and do really well. Mm -hmm. um, like, I, I can name so many people in this state. Viev, mm -hmm. uh, Skater J, Komoda, Advo. Right. E Serpent, uh, he went to some stuff for a while and then just one one day he like randomly had this crazy skill increase. But right now, um, Blind Bandit with a lead. I like that uh, falling fair. It could have led into something like a grab, mm -hmm. but the flash was smart to know to jab. Yeah, you got to be careful with Ness's fair. It's such a good setup option for him because it covers so much space in front of him. Killing with that back throw though at the edge. Yeah, they both rolled at the same time. Yeah. So. But yeah, that forward air, such a good disjointed hitbox. Leaves enough stun afterwards for you to choose what you want to do right after that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Poor landing from Blind Bandit is going to get yeah. a forward smash from the Flash. And the thing about the uh, Dr. Mario is if Mario forward airs you and it sweet spots you, mm -hmm. you're dead. Yeah. But Sometimes they can sour spot you. You can live. Dr. Mario's forward smash doesn't have a, doesn't have a sour spot. No. If it, if it hits you, you're gone. Just one big ball of medicine. Yep. And right now, both players just trying to read each other out, figure out the best way to get in. Yeah. Oh, wow. The Flash actually was able to get out of down air. Huh. Landing, one of the landing hits of down air got him out of that combo. Yeah, right now I like the spacing that Flash is using against Ness. He seems to be staying at just the right distance so he can react to most of the aerials. And he's typically going in when he's able to see an opening from what the Ness is doing. Yeah. I like all the frame traps that we're seeing from Blind Bandit. If he uh, whips one move, he's not really afraid to, you know, if, if he air dodges a fair, he'll land in jab or something like that. Yeah, so he knows the timing on his moves and how long he has to react out of them, which is yep. always a good thing to know with the character. And you just can't waste good medicine like that these days. Healthcare too expensive. Not gonna quite kill, but gives him a good edge guarding option. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, see that's what ah. I'm saying. That move does not have a sour spot, even if you get hit Man. by the inside of Doth. Yeah, that's you're, ridiculous. You're just gone. Because the way that move looks, it looks like the hitbox should be a little bit more forward than that, but I'm surprised to see it covers all the way to his back like that. Yep, and it's still it's still extremely powerful on that part of it, too. Mm -hmm. If Mario hit you, you would have gotten hit by, like, his body. Yeah, you would have been living after that, but not with that well-aimed medicine. Little differences like that can make such a big difference. Yeah. So we're going to see the villager switch from hmm. Blind Bandit. Not quite sure how this matchup will work out because well, there's not much for him to pocket, but Dr. Mario still has that cape, so he can reflect a lot of the stuff back at the villager. But he may be able to stay away and avoid those big hits that Flash has been throwing out against him. Yeah, well, I think there's a few merits for uh, going with villager. Mm -hmm. One of them is villager actually has some really good frame data, especially on his Nair. Yep. Um, he's going to be able to keep up with Doc a little bit better because Doc's frame data actually is pretty solid. He's modeled after Mario. Yep. Combination um, of Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Doc also can sometimes have a little bit of trouble landing. He doesn't get much aerial height off his jump, and he moves kind of slowly in the air. Yeah, that's true. He does have the lesser of the recoveries between him and Mario, so Villager's definitely good at camping you once you get off the stage. Yeah, and Doc is going to be a lot more effective at gimping Ness mm -hmm. than gimping Villager. Right. 
Yeah, Villager is nearly impossible to Gimp unless you can get the perfect sweet spot on both balloons at the same time. Otherwise, if you end up hitting both balloons and the Villager, he just gets them right back. Yep. Oh, I love that! He caught the full hop with a Sour Spot Fair, which pushed yeah. him into the Lloyd Rocket. That was really good zone coverage for all the options that he had there. He, all he could have done was shield or try and roll past the Lloyd Rocket, and he was at the right space to cover all the options. All right, Blind Bandit gets a little bit of momentum here. I think he started something, and uh, he got a bit more confident because I th he, he's been looking a little unconfident in um, the choices he's making. He's been, yeah. you know, not going all in. Like, if he does an aerial, he'll kind of pull back at the end. Um, yeah. But now he seems a little more confident. Yeah, he's doing a good job of playing creatively, honestly, which is what you have to do as Villager, because you have all those spacing tools that you have to work with. Yeah. It's just a matter of figuring out innovative and creative ways to use them together like that. Forcing him up high with the Lloyd Rocket and then following up with the Aerial. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of option cover. We've seen that over and over again, too. He'll, um, the Flash's option to beat the Lloyd Rocket is almost always jump, mm -hmm. and he's covering the jump with the with Slingshot. Yeah, he needs to start rolling past it, shielding it, something other than jumping, because at this point, yep, there he goes again, jumping over. Yeah, he's going to need to figure out something else to beat that out. There you go, rolling in that time, so that worked out for him. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a dangerous one. Oh, 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 wow. I didn't think oh about God. that. Right as the tree disappears, going for the down B just before the axe is that gone. That was so quick. I, I was thinking to myself, he missed an F smash opportunity there, but no, yeah. he, he had it all covered. He even like waited for the tree to start yeah. to fade. It's like he knew that it was about to go away. Yeah, I was expecting him to actually try and chop down the tree in time, but I didn't realize that as it's going away like that, you can actually down B without worrying about hitting the tree like that. Yep. So we got a game three between these two now. Going back to FD, but this time it's not Omega Battlefield. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Final Destination. Both players content with this stage. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, personally, I'd prefer to take a villager to something with platforms, give you a bit more options to get around those projectiles, but half the time it's about what you're comfortable with and what you know. Yeah, villager also really likes platforms in a way because he has so many aerial traps. The turnips are so oh, yeah. good. Especially if you get a three turnip. Yeah, the three turnips are deadly. Ooh, wow. Bowling ball going <laughs> right through yeah. that down B. There's not much you can do when you're in that down B going into a bowling ball like that. You just can't challenge that. There, I think instead of going for the second forward air, uh, Blind Bandit could have gone for a Nair because he was right inside uh, Dr. Mario, and yeah. Nair gets more follow-ups, mm -hmm. mostly into Nair again. Yep. Oh, more smash take that shot. That was a lot of commitments all at yeah. once. He put the Lloyd Rocket up, and then he threw the bowling ball, and then he grabbed. Yeah, he was expecting a lot of things there that just didn't happen. And Villager's grab is like frame 20. So it's... If you miss, you're getting punished. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, right now... Blind Bandit trying to slow things down a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, not trying to lose that momentum that he gained the first stock. Yeah. But now it is actually the flash with the lead. Mm -hmm. Getting that tree up. Axe is now a threat again. And there we see it again, the oh. slingshot to Lloyd Rocket. I think Blind Bandit has a lot of good setups that he's just mistiming. Mm -hmm. He's doing moves too early or something like that. Right. Yeah, it's, like we said earlier, you gotta know the timing on your character's moves, but. Good up air. There the the flash missed a punish opportunity there. He I think he perfect shielded the turnip, and he was right in grab range. Yeah, I was confused by that, too, because he was also right in front of him, so I would 
I was expecting to grab it might just be the nerves of being this close with both players at basically one hit. Yeah, that's a common thing. Oh, back uh -oh. throw. Not quite going to take it, but if uh, the Flash loses his jump here, it's going to be bad. Not quite able to edge guard him, so back to neutral. Yeah, a couple missed opportunities there from both players on that ledge. And if he had landed that back here, that would have been it. You can see both players are a little bit scared right now. Yeah. They're playing a lot more defensively. Yeah. But uh, the Ooh. Flash is playing a bit more patient. I think he's kind of waiting more, just trying to get as much damage as he yeah. can. So he's more kill options. Blind Bandit trying to force the kill a little bit more. Yeah. The longer you let him live, the greater chance he has to land another one of those forward smashes or even an up smash is mine. Yep. Oh, oh, that, no, no not, not that from close center to center stage. The, yeah. Going down low that time, trying to get it. Oh, yep, bowling, bowling ball is definitely going to cover. It. Yep. And uh, I believe he was, he was trumped, so even if he yeah. grabbed the ledge, that bowling ball would have hit him yep. off the edge. It was a very, very difficult situation. Yeah, he was trumped after he did the upbeat to grab onto the ledge.